All right. Let's fucking do this. We're done with judgment. So we're moving on to Metro. I should probably turn the sound up in OBS to back where it was originally. It's peeking into the yellow a bit, so I think that's fine. isn't any lag. I really need, like, a better computer. But, here we go. This game automatically saves your pro game progress. Oh, okay. Sound is a little low to me. the metro of all genetically impaired life in order to save humanity, any animals or humans that do not meet their specific ideal criteria are disposed of. Oof. Turn on subtitles. Wait, you can change the voice language? I'm just gonna keep it at English. Oh, that's Grady Grady. Let me change the... What the fuck? Let me change the resolution on my Apple... ...monitor. <laughs> Um... Born with survival. And normal. Not nah, right in that shit, bro. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon. We would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? Hey, Artyom. 
When you left your home station, did you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world, or send it straight to hell. Okay, that's kind of loud. We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. Shh, tiho, 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 tiho. Somebody's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll come. That is the biggest rat. Open the door. I'll cover you. Check those crates for ammo and med packs. Uh. Ready, Artyom? Follow me. Okay, that, that's a bit better now. Like nobody's home. Before we leave the surface, we should guess for this one. Look out for the black boulders outside the pool. We're almost there. This is the Torelief performance room. It's really close to the tower. Let's hold together. 
let me just... Glad to see you, Colonel. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? Form a circle! Life was never easy in the tunnels, but it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20 and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend Hunter arrived at the barricade. Artyom, <laughs> wake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. Let's go, Artyom. can't survive much longer if these attacks Nobody don't stop. Home. We must do something. <sighs> what more can we do? The Dark Ones will kill us all. 
We'll see what Hunter says. How are the wounded? Uh, not much improvement. Two oh, died this morning. The Dark Ones do not kill outright. But they damage a victim's mind. Sooner or later, this leads to death. It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. Welcome to exhibition, Hunter. Thanks. Now close your gate. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. Hostile, you kill it. Intruder alarm in the main shaft. They're coming in from above. Shit. Just what we needed. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The Kirill, take your group to the tunnels. Alex, Hunter. we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, our team quickly get away then. Our team, get away then. Damn, they never come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood. I shot this one. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosaluses run through the tunnels like rats. The dark one 
Hormones are not simple mutants. They're Homo Novus, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your Homo Novus with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the outer guard post! <laughs> what's happening out there, beyond your perimeter. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully, Atom. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me, and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller, so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Atom. Don't let me down. If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand? Hunter did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis. But I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. Well, finally! Taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform, they're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom, don't forget anything, huh? What... What the fuck is happening with my, uh... Вот сто с перевертоцей бабушки здорово! Вот сто с перевертоцей куча ед компот! Вот сто с перевертоцей ей мечтает снова! Вот сто с перевертоцей теперь лежит на лед!
how is my mic still picking up sound? That is not my voice. Guess I have to deal with that. Hey, that's some nice music. Hey, uh, where did you get that record? Got it from a ranger for a ton of ammo. Hey, you're sure you don't regret getting it? I'm sick and tired of this oh, shit. Why do I put up with it? All right, then uh, try something else. Now. How about? Hmm. I know. How about a house where you'd like to live with your mom and dad? Oh, come on. A house? A big one? And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her and she'll be happy. That's going oh, to be a great surprise for her son. Dream. <laughs> okay. So, baby, if my wife could cook like you, I'd be the happiest man in the world. Go back to sleep already. So I ask him, can't your wife cook at all? And he says, actually, I'm not married. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> oh. yeah, everywhere. Just Nobody just home. home. People are filthy, you know? Liars, hypocrites, traitors, everywhere. <laughs> what? You saying that I'm dead? Well, you're shit, okay? Is that you, Pete? Can't you open it yourself? <laughs> Lost the keys again. <laughs> oh, ew. Go find the keys. You know I can't get up, idiot. Who's there? Ah, it's you, Artyom. Well, let me get some rest, will ya? It'll be my watch soon. Choice, huh? Yeah, great choice. Your That's one happy family for you. Everything's fresh. Come on, make your choice. 
Artyom, where's your gear? No, go to the armory and get geared up. Siberia was silent. But the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a bastard gun. <laughs> Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo, too. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. And a gas mask. Put it on if you crossed any radiation hot zones. Or, God help you, go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? Too. And the monsters will inherit the earth. But there were other suburbs. In St. Petersburg, Minsk, Kiev. People might have survived somewhere else. Hey, how are you, Artyom? <coughs> Come in, son. You're ready to set off. Good. You've probably heard that our station is creating an alliance with Riga. We're sending them a couple of rail cars with humanitarian goods, some weapons, and some miscellaneous gear. That's the cargo you'll be looking after. It's not a very long trip, and it should not be too hard. Artyom, one thing before you go. I can see that you look up to Hunter, but a ranger's life is different than ours. They are reckless, even violent by nature. There's nothing to be gained by playing the hero, so stay clear of trouble. See the caravan to its destination and come home as soon as possible. Goodbye, my boy. Kind of glad I uh, kept the voice in English, considering how much they talk. So you're ready to move out? Are you ready? Well, let's go then. You take that seat, Artyom. And you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? So, uh, you get your gear? Let's go then. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. You'll have to pull the lever sometimes. <laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. I'll write it then. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us too. 
What? Let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Look, for as long as the ride takes anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? Uh. It was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I bet you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right go, next go, to Riga, go, go. and that's a big metro already. I used to make regular trips to police, but getting there now requires a lot of luck. That or being from Hansa. Well, I'd love to ride Local. that thing. Hansa connects to the whole metro and has a lot of stations, but doesn't welcome outsiders. And if it's not Hansa, then you have to go through the Reds, the Nazis, or your regular bandits. And these guys are really going at it lately. If they're not fighting everyone else, they're boring with each other. Stuck near Alexeyevskaya. A tunnel collapse, or other shit. You have to use the service tunnel bypassing Alexeyevskaya. Ah, fuck. I hate this tunnel. All right, Peter. Open up the gate. No point being stuck here forever. Why? Well, what's wrong with that tunnel? Well, it's an ordinary tunnel. Not as well lit, maybe. I went through that last month, and, well, I just don't like it. That's all. A safe trip. We are riding a ham car, and we're on, so I think we'll make it there okay. Damn, this my hammer. If you help push the lever, we'll get there sooner. Okay, Eugene, you go help the men. We should move faster here. You watch the back, Artyom. Sure, I'll help. That way we'll get to Riga in no time, right? Now, we should get out of here sooner. It's scary when they're around, and I pity them. Them? Who, who, who them? Can you hear them weep? Whom do you mean, them? What are you talking about? Huh? What, what the hell is going on about? Boris? Bo Boris? Boris? Hey. What? What's happening to me? Huh? Huh? Oh, my head! I'm too old! Bruh, that just sounds like my tinnitus. <laughs> Wake up, Boris! 
so I guess that was supposed to happen. That was literally the corniest fucking line. Riga station was only the first stop on my journey, but the caravan went no further. So, before parting ways, we drank to celebrate our survival. The vodka didn't drown my fear of traveling on to Polis alone, but I was about to find myself with an unexpected and notorious partner. boys let's train to our friend Artyom who goes right through monsters and anomalies alike to Artyom to you hell if not for you Artyom we'd have been shredded like cabbage you deserve a medal <laughs> or at least some extra ammo here take them to you Artyom Artyom, to you! Artyom, you really mute to that shit? See if that shroom vodka knocks him down, huh? <laughs> okay, we've got to check that. To our luck, and to Artyom, to your help. kicks everyone's ass, huh? So tell me. The tunnel to market's closed down and I'm bored to death sitting here on my ass. We passed through some kind of invisible way. We all like that. Thank you, my friend. I you sure saved us out there. But I got my orders. Are you Artyom? Hey, there's a man at the Black Street waiting for you. I'll guide you there for one bullet. Thanks. Let's go. Artyom, right? Well, Sit gone. down. Bye. A 
Everybody calls me Bourbon. Listen, I need to get to Dry Station for some business, but this rat hole is on lockdown. I, however, know a back way. A so-called cursed passage the locals are afraid to use. But I hear the shit in the tunnels doesn't work on you. So, you help me get to Dry, I'll give you my AK when we get there. Deal? Good. Here's an advance payment, in case you need to gear up first. Are you ready? Sitting in this crap hole is useless. As I entered the abandoned tunnel with Bourbon, I wondered if I'd been wrong to trust him. But the station gates were still sealed, and there was no telling when I'd have another chance to leave Riga. Great, we broke free. Now keep your eyes peeled. The handcar ride. Damn, so like... This is kind of boring. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to boot up another game and hope that it actually doesn't start lagging because last time I tried to boot up this game, it was heavily struggling. Okay. It's like already heavily slow. So like... Yep. 
I'm gonna change the uh, thing now. Because Metro 2033 was kind of fucking boring. So, let me just... Do this. human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age the psychic age are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. Hello. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about Which to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing crap. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall ah. live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will Die! <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, Nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. Killing. <laughs> Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. 
Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. 
Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. still like pretty laggy so Gotta make sure that did enough. Okay, I gotta fix this now. Still kind of lagging. Is it because I'm streaming that it's doing this?
Okay, so that made it better. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. When I go to options, it does not struggle like this. literally struggling right now. Oh man, I guess this is the sign that I really need, really do either need a new computer as a whole that can actually run streams well, a better graphics card that isn't a GT710, or more RAM. frozen in a big block of ice.
Uh, I can't get up there right now. Uh. 
I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever. And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe, and I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. Oh, can't see anything. Jump up there on time. This lag is severely getting in my way. Hip. 
cog. I know. Uh, how do I get over there? I guess I can't right now. Where are you going, Maloof? Shh! I snuck out! That class is a death trap for the crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me, before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service! Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing a bloody tear. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Bro, your last name is Zilch. <laughs> Shut the fuck really? up. Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Betty, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Coach Oleander? I'm reporting for basic training. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind? You will have Bro, to it's so off scene right now. Scarred memory of every battle. I don't even know if these things would fix that. I have ever faced. It does not be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I'm ready, sir. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. Oh shit. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids, and I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. <laughs> Too late, soldier. 
Mood. But you said there's only one way out of here. Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sack me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Do it! Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! It seems like these things fixed it a little bit. Yo, ha what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. That was He's unnecessary. Not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you oh don't Oh my get god, he said right ass. Missed that last jump. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. Let's fucking go. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that figment. Your first treatment collect a hundred filament points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you will earn new psychic abilities. Okay. Be a piggy piggy! Who's coaches little piggy? Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now! You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. Is there one more up here? No. Move, move, move. Yep. Watch out! Fire down below! We can't get past this! This is stupid! 
bit. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry. Yes. What? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Well <laughs> Bobby Zelch's foot, that's what! You stupid new kid! Yeah! <laughs> <Sure>. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh! I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Your name, Joey? No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You. You're talking too slow. <laughs> Soldier. 
I didn't miss anything. Hey, there. my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Didn't even know I picked up another tag, but okay. Mentalis Uberalis. Climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it. Quick, like a monkey. through the mines. Okay. I can't do it. I can't do it.
Miles. And then we walked half a mile. And then we made a U-turn. And then we had a snack. And then we got lost for a while. And then we got attacked by bees. <laughs> And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. Yo. And then we just stood still for a while. And then we walked four miles. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. And then we took a side road. And then we turned a deep left. And then we turned left. And then we got attacked by bees. And then we turned a soft right. And then Lady had to go to the bathroom. And then we walked three miles. And then I gave Lady a bone. <laughs>
Honey? Bro. like that and swing on them. It's all about upper body strength, you know?
No. How do I- That's a mental cobweb. You can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them.
like molasses going uphill in January. With crutches. You can see, the trapeze is very difficult. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp.
see a silver dollar out there in that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a bong at first. Ah, the old rolling tunnel of crazy logs, man. An old one, but a hard one. What you gotta do is. <laughs> ah, who are we kidding? You're never gonna make it through that. <laughs>
Hello? Hello? Guess I'm early. Right there, son. Now, just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Um, okay. Way to make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh, Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. You know where this button is from, Coach? Hey! You stole a button from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber! No, I didn't! I... Bobby Zilch gave it to me! Shoulda known. That kid spends more time in the cooler than in school. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. Well, go put it back! Yes, sir. Hey, Coach, where is the G? Don't you know how to use your map? Right, yes, sorry. Sasha Nine's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. That's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground, and... Oh my gosh! 
Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. On sale now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs! They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting. And then I go hide in that bush. Great. Wood. Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Duggan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Bad. You guys are good. No, I don't. This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. Yep. This is the button that Sasha gave me. It, this is the button. This is the. This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. No, I don't want to lose this button. I might not get into Sasha's secret lab without it. No, I don't want to lose this button. I might not get into Sasha's secret lab without it. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh huh. Thank <laughs> you. 
excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. And maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for side cards. Now with that, oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Ah, it doesn't look like you got the rank you need there, kiddo. And there's no excuse for that. Plenty of ways to get promoted around here. Collecting mental figments and cobwebs helps you rank up. So does finding side challenge markers or building them out of... You also rank up when you sort people's emotional baggage. And if you want to skip a bunch of ranks at once, well, you should talk to the camp ranger about his scavenger hunt contest. Mmm, dream fluffs. Now, you take that side take course. It. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Now, now that... Ah, now here's something every young side could get That's it needs. for now. All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. Yes, I just, I mean, my family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh, I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. class and I was wondering were you asking her to go with you what no I'm here to train no distractions excellent bye hey Siegel what's up Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner.
What? What's that? I can barely hear you. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is... None of your stinking business! I know you do Hey! <laughs> hey! Yes! <laughs> Doing. Beat it, you kid! <laughs> I know you don't! Oopsie Daisy! Hey, are you psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think? About what? Well, normally not much, but today they're all kind of freaked. They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish, there's something big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? Uh-huh. Holy mackerel! Oh, sorry, not you. What else? Whoa! Bro, no, I can't get up there. Oh man, I'm just gonna... 